relationship reasons and ways to look within. We're dealing with relationship while being this month and our BU 365 day challenge to do one thing every day that improves us. Sharon Hornell's from here. Day 162 already. We're doing awesome with our annual challenge. Doing one thing every day that makes us a better version of ourselves, like continually improving human being. And this month, this segment, the month of June, it's the 11th already, we are talking about relationships, reshape relationship well-being. We just finished the SOAP framework and we took one, just one of our little relationship so we wanted to improve and we ran it consciously through the SOAP framework for five, well, five days because we decided on the topic and then the S, the O, the A, and the P. Story, options, action, I say analysis and action, and then progress. Are we filling that gap in our story from where we want, are to where we want to be? So today our topic, and for the rest of the month, we'll have a, a different topic with related to our relationships and our well-being in the area of our relationships, right? Because we all want healthy, positive relationships that move us in the direction we want to go to make our life better and more fulfilled and happier. So today we're going to talk about the topic of, and I originally called it, it's safe to look within. And I think I probably called it that because I got it off of one of those decks of cards because I was going through, uh, I've got like 25 of those uh, motivational personal development type, uh, my, all different topics, but decks of cards. And uh, I thought about making it easier and having a card a day for the challenge. And I found it was harder to go through all the decks, separate it out by topic, and then try to figure out what topic to talk about in what order than to just pick topics that came to mind and that I'd learned from in the past that were important toward relationships, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial, contribution, communication, and confidence. So today, I think, and I personally believe, and from personal experience, have learned that, number one, the only relationship that we can really 100% control is the relationship we have with ourselves. And how do we know what that relationship is? Well, by looking within. So I did some research and I found actually 20, but there's some repeats, two different lists of 10 biggest reasons to look within. And I'm going to share those. And then I'm also going to share a list of 10 ways to go ahead and look within. And our action item today is just going to be to share, well, actually do it, and then share the one way that you chose to look within yourself today. So first I'm going to share the, the 10, two lists of 10 reasons why it's important and what's in it for us to look within. Because if we don't think there's anything in it for us to understand ourselves better, then we're not going to bother. We're not going to look within ourselves to learn more about ourselves, to understand how we interact in relationships if we don't have good enough reasons why. It's why we do the seven why exercise for each area and aspect of our life. It's why we... Uh, do anything, right? We have to be motivated internally, it comes from within, in order to take action and do anything. So let's take a look at these lists. Handy dandy magnifying glass. 10 reasons to look within. And again, I'm just going to read these and what I want you to do is think about what do they mean to you? Because again, we all filter everything we hear and everything we learn based on our past experiences. And so sometimes we hear things and see things, sometimes we don't. It's why I picked two lists because a lot of the items on each list are the same, but they're phrased and worded in a different way. And one way speaks to me and the other way doesn't. And so I'm hoping that it has that similar effect on you. <clears throat> so 10 reasons to look within. Number one, to know your true self. Number two, to deal with insecurities. Yes, we all have insecurities. Number three, to inspire ourselves. Number four, to improve your mental health. Five, to gain confidence. Six, to be self-aware. Seven, to focus on yourself. Eight, to know what you deserve. Nine, to practice self-care. And 10, to be fueled with energy. So that was the first list I found. Then I found another list of 10 that had these items on it. Number one, know who you are. Number two, recognize your weaknesses. Number three, know what you want, which is one of the biggest challenges for all humans. Number four, Make better decisions. Number five, improve your mental well-being. Number six, recognize your strengths. Number seven, build your confidence. Number eight, being a better person to others. Number nine, feeling more energized. And number 10, feeling happier. I guess if I was picking, I would say I actually like personally the second list better. It speaks to me more than the first list. So those are just some of the reasons. So I challenge you to think of some of the reasons why you want to look within and understand yourself better in order to 
have better, healthier, more productive uh, relationships. And again, better to you is by your definition. So what are 10 different ways that we can connect with ourselves and, and understand and look within ourselves? Number one, uh, we can check, oh, well, what is, well, let me see, it means, oh, looking within means being accountable for yourself and being responsible and accountable for ourselves. One of the biggest challenges for humans, me included when I was younger, was to take 100% responsibility for ourselves, right? Everything we think, everything we feel, everything we believe, all of the actions we take or don't take, uh, and then the results that we're getting in our life. It's really easy to blame things outside of us, right? Because that's what pretty much everybody does. Well, this is the reason I was late. This is the reason I didn't get that promotion. This is the reason that my relationship blew up with so-and-so. And we always have an excuse or a reason, right? So here's 10 ways to look within and understand what we're contributing to the relationship or not contributing to the relationship by understanding ourselves better. So here's 10 ways to connect with yourself. Number one, check in with yourself daily. Actually, ask yourself, how am I feeling? How's it going? What's going on with me? What is what is uh, in the back of my brain niggling away at me that I maybe need to pay attention to instead of just stuffing it down and not paying attention to it? Number two, find silence. Somehow in your day, find some quiet time, even if it's just a minute here and a minute there, to take a deep breath and, and think and pay attention to and check in with yourself. Number three, focus on your breath. That's a great way, just like meditation. Number four... Feel all your feelings. It's really easy to feel our good feelings and we tend to, to, to whiz through or stuff away or, or, or ignore our bad feelings. But it's important that we let them all roll through us so that they get dealt with in a positive way uh, or a way that's good for us, not a way that's bad for us. A lot of times when we have negative emotions, negative feelings, we reach for things that are bad for us. We watch too much TV. We eat too much salty or sweet or junk food or or com, you know, carbs and things that aren't wonderful for us. Uh, I don't know what number I'm on, but try automatic writing or journaling. I think writing and journaling are really good ways to tap into what we're really thinking and feeling. And nobody has to ever read them. We don't have to save them. We can burn them or we can throw them away when we're done. Uh, have a morning routine. I would say that has been one of the best things I've ever done is created a morning routine. And it's changed over the decades, but... It's really helped me to start my day off in a better way. Uh, be aware of your thoughts, which, you know, that's pretty hard because we have like, I think scientists have said on average, we have 80,000 thoughts a day. So how are we going to be aware of 80,000 things a day? We're not. But pay particular attention and be conscious and aware of the ones that you feel strong emotions to, either positive or negative, because they're there to show you something. Uh, move your body. That's always a good one. Do what makes you happy and smile. So those were the 10 things. So our action item today, again, just share one thing you're going to do to look within yourself today. And if you have a lesson that you learned or something that you noticed, please share that with us as well. That's it. Any questions, hit me up. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow. Bye.